What's up guys, welcome back to another video. And on this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a theme for your Android 10.1 inch head unit for your Jeep Patriot. Or if you have any other car that has this Android head unit. So let's start off by going to the Google Play Store. All right guys, here we are. I am now at the Google Play Store. Sorry for the reflection. But the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is type in car launcher. Now I have already done that, so it's right here in my history. Now, uh, there's a lot of these uh, launcher apps, which are themes. So I like the AGAMA car launcher. I think that's the easiest for me, at least. Now I've already purchased it. So I'm gonna go ahead and push open, which is now my home because it, it asked me to set the home. So I would like to show you guys the original theme that it had, but I've already set this for home. So now this is my home. And um, this one is one you have to purchase. So when you download it, it is free at first. And then you have like, I think a 30 day trial or something before you actually fully purchase the thing. I've already purchased it because I like it so much, but it's a very straightforward. I mean, mine says Jeep. You guys could make it say anything you want just by putting the logo up. You're gonna go here and then you're gonna see your car. You have many logos to choose from. So I highly doubt that you will not have your logo there. Um, and if you want, let's say you want a speedometer right here, which you can do. Mine is already set at miles per hour, but when it, when you first download it, it will be in kilometers. In order to change that, you're going to go to settings. You're going to go up to distance, which is right here. And then you have KM and ML. I put mine on ML obviously, because I want miles per hour. Um, that was the main issue with the original theme was that it was stuck on kilometers and I could not change that for the life of me. Now, this is a very simple setup. If you want to change any of these logos, the icons, or change them to something else, let's say I want the navigation right here and the radio there, you're gonna hold this. Now you have app, you're gonna go into app, you're gonna click, uh, let's say navigation, if I wanted that in the radio spot, and then I'm gonna, it's gonna be, so when I push this, it'll still say radio, and it will show that icon but it'll be navigation. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to icon and then you can cl click any one of these. So you could put, uh, let's see, navigation right there. So you'd wanna put navigation and then um, the name right here, radio, you could type navigation or whatever it is that you want. It's a very easy process. I like it set on logo right here just because it just makes more sense. And uh, cause I have the time up here, which you can, tap it you got that but if you hold it you can get the straight date you can get the just the time or you can get both i chose to do both because i have the logo in the center um music player and phone are i like to set them at bluetooth just because um when you type into it let's see i got phone now it automatically goes to this so i can go ahead and pair my phone and then I can make calls or whatever it is that I need to do. Um, I don't have my Bluetooth on right now, so it's not working. But now I just go to home and it's back. So anytime I start my car up and uh, let it boot up, it's not going to go to the original theme anymore. And it's going to go to this. Now, if you guys decide that you don't want this anymore, then all you got to do is delete the app and it'll go to the original theme again, just like it was from factory. So... I hope that was easy enough for you guys. And uh, it is a much better display. You know, it's 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 more customizable. You can do anything with it. I mean, the original one is not customizable at all. So with this one, I think you guys would like it. You could set any logo you want. You can you can literally change anything. Just go through it and just just mess with it. And then you'll see that uh, that's exactly what you want. So I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you on the next one.